welcome to Flight Test, I'm Josh. And uh, if you guys have watched a lot of Flight Test episodes, you'll notice that we're in such a hurry to get planes into the air, oftentimes we don't really put much color on them. We want to show you today some very easy, quick steps to put some strategic color on your airplanes and make them look amazing. So in the past, we've oftentimes painted our airplanes after we built them. In this case, we're going to go ahead and put the paint on our airplane using poster board templates that we've designed and some 3M Super 77. The most important thing now to decide is what do you want your plane to look like. You don't have to coat the whole entire airplane with paint. All you need to do is to be strategic. In this case, we're going to be using the Sportster. We're going to make it look like an old vintage GB. To do that, I cut out some stencils out of the poster board to apply on, and I'm going to actually be painting inside the stencil area. If you want to do things like stars where you want it to be white, you can also use that as a negative and put that down and then spray over top of it, and then remove the sticker afterwards. After applying 3M Super 77 to your template, let it sit for five to 10 minutes to make sure it's not too tacky. Then go back and test it on a test piece of foam to make sure it doesn't lift or pull the paper up. Once your template is ready to apply, lay it over your piece of foam and press down on the edges with your finger to make sure that you have good adhesion between your template and the foam board. Now a lot of different people like different types of paints. Uh, we really like Rust-Oleum and Valspar. Always make sure you go on a test piece of foam and practice painting your foam board. If you put too much paint on or too much paint too soon, you can get it to delaminate, dissolve, or bubble up. Make sure when you lay down your paint that you don't try to do it all in one coat. Give it a nice mist coat, that'll be your tack coat. Give it three to five minutes, then go back with another coat. And if you need to put a third coat on, that's okay. Use long, even strokes and make sure you don't puddle the paint. Every time between coats, make sure that your template is sticking down and that nothing's lifted up. If any areas lift up, you're going to get a soft edge. Once the paint is dried where you can touch it, carefully remove your template by peeling up one edge and carefully work around. Don't try to pull it off too quickly. Let it slowly release from the foam board. This technique works on foam board, Depron, R models, almost anything that has a flat foam material, uh, you can practice this on. And a big thank you to Joshua Finn and Steven Rosema for showing us this technique. They were the ones that introduced Super 77 to us, and they actually use it on running tissue paper through printer machines to get very intricate designs on tissue paper to apply their models. Just a little bit of paint, about 15 to 20 minutes of time, you can take your plane from being plain white to a real piece of art. If you want to see an example of this process in its final form, check out our mini Sportster build video. You'll be able to see the whole process from building all the way to flying. And if you guys would like to recreate this paint scheme, look for the link below to download the free template and also free plans for both the mini and the full size Sportster. Friends, we want to thank you for watching. If you guys have any tips for us or you want to find out some other tips, go to flighttest.com articles. There's a lot of really great information and all this information oftentimes we take, we get inspired and we share with you from those articles. We'll see you next time.